Helen from Diary of a Daughter. I just wanted to show you a project that I've been working on. It is the guest slash rental room. Oh, Timmy wants to say hi. Hi, my name is Timothy and what's your name? <laughs> so I've been repainting, well I should say just touch up painting the guest room that we had been renting out and it's empty at this point, vacant. We're hoping to get another renter in soon. Yeah. And we figured, you know, might as well finally get the ceiling painted because it hadn't been painted and touch up some marks that had been made on the wall. So let me show that to you. So this is our room here. We went ahead and took the door off the hinge because none of the doors in the house have been painted. So I just went ahead and put a coat on the door. It really is worth it to go ahead and take the hardware off the door, the door knob and the hinges. Uh, what time it takes to tape off all of your uh, all your hardware, you save it if you just go ahead and remove it all when you're doing uh, cabinet faces and doors and anything else like that. Um, if it's just a small area, one little knob, whatever, then it's up to you whether or not you go ahead and uh, take it off or tape it off. But when you're doing a big amount, go ahead and remove it all. So then we have a closet over here. Um, I'm going to have to redo the whole closet, but we're just going to wait until it's uh, at, a, at a later date. Um, but I did go ahead and start touching up some of the trim. So I'm using a semi-gloss for the trim. And we actually, when we purchased the paint, I think we also did a semi-gloss for these walls. I really like the color that we have in here, and you can see the accent wall. We did a nice brown that really accents the, the walls that we have in here. So, um, here's the colors. This is a better wall to see the differences. So it's a good color scheme in here, along with the hard, hardwood. Looks really nice. When you are painting, make sure you cover your hardwood or your carpet, whatever you've got in there. Don't just think, oh, I just need one little drop cloth. Because you can see there is splatter marks all over the place, just everywhere. Definitely cover anything that you don't want paint on or you're not willing to scrub paint off of. So, and then we'll finally get the curtain back um, situated and we have this little bookshelf in the corner. When we painted the ceiling, we went ahead and took the fan blades off of the fan. And that was a huge, a huge deal. Because I would have had to dodge five fan blades just to paint the ceiling around there. So, ceiling looks really good. We didn't have too many marks, so I ended up not having to do any um, spackling to fix anything like that. Um, but if you do end up taking a lot of things off of walls prior to painting, definitely use the spackle and do it the day before and make sure that you sand the area um, and wipe off any extra dust from your sanding. Uh, the door had been spackled a little bit and again the door frames had not been um, painted at all just like the door had not been painted. So I went ahead and had Emma go ahead and sand the spackling that they had left there. This is like, this is like when we bought the house like five years ago. <laughs> so we're finishing things up finally, but we're gonna do it like a little by little, room by room, just like I'm doing with my uh, minimalizing. I'm doing one little project at a time because I can't take on the entire house and we don't really want to move out for a week while a painter paints the entire thing. So I can do it myself, thanks to my dad who was a painter and taught me all the tricks of the trade. Uh, although I don't have a sprayer, which would make my life a lot easier. Um, and he never really taught me how to use that, but it's not too difficult, I think. So I suppose I could rent one, but again, I'm just more comfortable with a brush and a roller. I wanted to show you my favorite tool when I'm uh, painting and Eddie here didn't want to be quiet. So he's going to join us in this part of the video. <laughs> this is my favorite tool and mine has gotten quite old. It doesn't want to stay in a nice straight line, but I've learned to deal with it. There it is. 
Uh, it's a two inch, I believe, two inch. Ah. And it just, that's the size that my dad always used, and that's the size that I've gotten used to uh, painting my walls. Mm. Um, yeah, so I do all my cutting in with this brush. I do just about everything with this brush. I actually, for that touch up job, I use this, a roller, a pan, um, obviously the little can opener thing, and uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's all I used. So mm -hmm.